Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, friends. I hope you're blessed. I hope you're having a good day. Peace and love to you all. Today, we have a rare occurrence happening in my city. It's actually snowing. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but we have some snow and it's exciting. When I looked out the window, I was like, oh my days, there is snow. It got me excited and it also reminded me of the word of the Lord in Isaiah 1 verse 18, which says, come let us reason together, seeth the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as warm. And this really took me to my own journey, which I've been experiencing with the Lord. Coming to a knowledge of what sin is, coming to an understanding that God wants us to live a sanctified life in Christ Jesus. Going from a life of sin and coming to a life that is sanctified by the righteousness of Christ. I personally believe that a lot of the elements that God has given us in nature and creation are to remind us of his promises of how good God is and how his promises that he has spoken shall surely come to pass if we take him at his word and if we believe that what he says is true we will see his power in our lives unfold and as I watch the snow I just get excited because all I can think about is the promise of God understand that God is not slack in fulfilling his promises but he is long suffering not willing that any should perish God has spoken his promise and his promise will surely come to pass Though they tarry, they will surely come to pass. And we can trust and give our lives to Christ that he might sanctify us and cleanse us from all our sins so that when he returns a second time, we might go with him to heavenly places and dwell with him in the kingdom of God. So if you want that for yourself, I pray this day that the Lord might fill your heart with a joy that surpasses all understanding and that you shall give your life to him wholly and fully wishing and praying desiring in fact that he sanctifies your life and that you become a testament to his goodness a witness to the gospel and this is exactly what i believe christ is trying to work in the lives of every believer individually he wants to sanctify us remove us from lives of sin you know my whole life this year has been about going from a place of sin and brokenness of just living a life in, in recklessness living in selfishness coming to a place where god worked upon my heart even before i knew what was happening i did not know that the lord was consecrating me unto a sanctified life until i began to read the scriptures and to study the word and to see wait actually christians are meant to have and live by the words of christ christians are actually meant to have the holy spirit make them holy do you know so it's a realization that's been fantastic for me as i've been walking with the lord and understanding the impact and the consequences of sin in a believer's life until people get to a point where they can understand the consequence of sin sometimes it's hard to really explain why god's word says what it says and why it restricts us from doing certain things in fact i don't see it as a restriction but a blessing when i was convicted of sin in my own life i praise god every day that he reproved me of my sin and that he made known to me what my sins were i thank the lord because if it was not for a knowledge of sin i would have never known repentance god gave me that gift that he can give it to you too my friend so if you are struggling with sin today please do not think that your life is hopeless do not think that there is no hope for you because there is a god in heaven and he is able to give us victory over sin he is able to help us be as white as snow be as these flakes of snow he's able to give us his righteousness for our sin and trade your sin today for his righteousness my friend the birds are agreeing with me go ahead and trade your sin for his righteousness i pray lord god of hosts might keep you and bless you and that his righteousness might fall upon you and that his will might be fulfilled in your life as his child jesus name amen thank you for listening guys i'm just gonna spend some time enjoying the snow i'm gonna sit out here and just watch <laughs> the snow and think of my creator think of how good and awesome he is think of his promises you have a blessed day as well go ahead and share this if it's been helpful and inspirational to you and go ahead and let others know how good god has been in your life join me in praising and worshiping our god my friends because oftentimes i feel like my worship is not even enough and i need people to join me worship and give him thanks 
for what he has done in my life and if you feel the same go ahead and subscribe click that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends and let us together journey to the land of zion i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now